Hey everyone, so we've been talking about the Black Mass. So far, Roman Sionis has taken on this identity, started a sort of war against Bruce Wayne, and everything kind of went horribly wrong for him, and he got thrown in Arkham Asylum. Then he escaped due to some other events, and waged war against Bruce Wayne again. This time, things working out a lot better for him. He led a series of targeted attacks against Wayne Enterprises, many of which were successful, before beating the crap out of Bruce Wayne through an underling, uh, murdering a Wayne Enterprises executive and escaping clean. Batman at the time happened to have been going through a midlife crisis, but still, it's all pretty impressive. Now we're going to get into Black Mask's rise in the criminal underworld, but before we get into that, if you haven't seen those videos yet, you can check them out by clicking on the button up here, and uh, if you want to see more content related to this character and many others in the Batman universe and beyond that within the world of comics, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Roman Sionis remains at large after what's been covered so far. He's still in charge of the False Face Society, and is gradually becoming more embroiled in the gang warfare going on in Gotham's criminal underworld. With Cersei long gone, Roman begins talking to a mannequin he pretends is her. Meanwhile, Bruce Wayne, for some reason, holds yet another masquerade, and Roman can't resist sending a criminal named Black Spider to go there and ruin the party by murdering a random guest. For obvious reasons, this plan fails. The spider doesn't manage to hurt anybody, and barely escapes the clutches of Batman. As it turns out, the spider was a double agent for a rival gang leader named Turk Ottoman anyways. And he turns on Roman, killing several members of the False Face Society before Batman arrives and confronts Roman's former underling. This allows Roman to once again escape and vanish from Batman's clutches. When Batman later gained a valuable piece of intel against Roman, he decided to use the information to catch a vigilante named Lockup instead, deciding that at the time, Lockup was a greater danger than Black Mass. Meanwhile, Roman seemed to accept that he enjoyed and benefited far more from his work as a gangster rather than a villain out for simple revenge against Bruce Wayne, and he started to focus on expanding his criminal empire and at the time declaring that he would set aside his goals for revenge, at least for the moment. An early attempt to expand into Gotham's sister city Bloodhaven, however, was thwarted by Nightwing. Instead, Roman decided to focus on firming up his hold in his home city, and decided to target a member of the police, Detective Harvey Bullock. Roman offered to give Harvey information on some of Black Mask's competition in the crime world, so that Roman could easily rise in power while Bullock would gain the prestige of the arrest. Additionally, Roman wanted one of his false facers to be found not guilty in an upcoming trial. Harvey initially rejected this offer, but eventually gave in, making arrests of Roman's enemies all over the city, cementing Black Mask's new role as a major player in the criminal underworld. Yet when it came time for the court case, Harvey was unwilling to sabotage the trial. In response, Roman ordered for Harvey's death. But Bullock was able to organize a shootout between the False Facers and a biker gang, barely escaping with his own life while the rest of the criminals were killed around him. And that's it for now. We'll be getting into more Black Mask stuff at some point in the future. Uh, and next up for him is pretty interesting because his character is going to really start to transform into a very famous Batman event, No Man's Land. So stay tuned for that, and thanks for watching Comic Island.